Hi, good morning, and hi, good morning, and welcome to today's product in focus. So, the Greeks have actually finally gone ahead and voted and approved the eurozone deal, which currently is making the Germans look very unpopular, and uh, lots of riots in the streets in Athens and all sorts of trouble over there just now. So, uh, it's, nevertheless, it still went through. It doesn't look like they're getting any debt haircut. Uh, you know, the IMF was coming out with that yesterday, um, but nevertheless, at least we seem to get one step closer. But uh, one thing about this whole uh, kind of fiasco is you never know until uh, everything's all completely signed and done and. Uh, and delivered and there's uh, still all sorts of questions uh, regarding where the funds are going to come from the IMF obviously threatened to uh, to kind of pull out and there's all sorts of drama in the background as well but nevertheless I think most people were kind of looking at Janet Yellen's testimony anyway when looking at the US there in particular which was relatively bullish in regards to the economic data that was coming out um, she pretty much confirmed and still thought there was going to be uh, an interest rate hike in 2015 so maybe not the two that some uh, people were thinking but uh, we did see some decent moves in the US dollar overnight and the US 30 uh, is now just pretty much trading at potential resistance at 18,112, trading above both moving averages with the bullish cross on the MACD is still prevalent and you don't have uh, an overbought situation in the RSI and the slow stochastic yet even though we've had uh, five days of gains or some significant gains obviously seen there on Monday. Chinese stock market um, came off slightly at the start of the session but then managed to bounce back and recover as following yesterday's down day even in the face of some quite positive data from the region as well. So moving on to the UK 100, um, we were firmly above 61.72 uh, earlier on in the session, but we've been pushed right back down on the intraday chart. It's relatively volatile, uh, just below the 55 period SMA, but trading above the uh, short term one there at 21. Uh, again, bullish cross in the MACD with further room still to move when looking at the other technical indicators. There's still a little bit of gas left in the tank, perhaps to re-challenge the next potential resistance once we break through this 55 period SMA at 69.06. Uh, but it depends on a lot of the economic data that are due out today and tomorrow. Moving on to Japan to do five, um, again five, six days worth of gains including today but it's kind of slowing uh, on the intraday charts, so it's kind of grinding a little bit higher. 20,868 is the high from I think back in 2003 uh, for the Japan 225. We're not a million miles away from there right now. And with the moves we saw on dollar yen last night, uh, everything's set up relatively nicely for Japan 225 to benefit. So looking at dollar yen, you can see that we're getting ever closer to 124 spot 42, which is the um, potential resistance level we've talked a number of times about. And we've had two uh, bounces off there in June. Uh, we've yet to reach that level so far in July, but after that we've got 126 as the next potential support level to be aware of right there um, so obviously things can work out in regards to in regards to Greece and Iran uh, that that deal continues to, to push forward and we begin to see a little bit more normalcy uh, normalization sorry once uh, the Greece aspect gets finished then the safe haven aspect of the Japanese yen uh, gets diminished quite significantly so dollar yen if you combine that together with Janet Yellen's testing of yesterday, still um, looks pretty interesting from an FX point of view. Moving on to West Texas crude, uh, reversal of the gains that we made there on Tuesday, following the Iran deal when it was thought the, um, the oil sanctions wouldn't uh, turn the taps on for Iranian crude for up to six months. That's still pretty much the case, but nevertheless, uh, crude oil still came down. And we're getting ever closer to 49 spot 40, which is the longer term potential support to look out for there. Moving on to gold, uh, gold has uh, not benefited that greatly from the, the potential interest rates uh, being confirmed by Yellen yesterday. 11.37 is a potential support. Uh, we've been talking about getting to this level, I guess, since uh, March at the start of uh, the start of this year, and it looks like we might get there as of yet. Trading below both moving averages, other technicals are not yet oversold, indicating there's still further room to go. And 11.37 looks to be the next potential level the market is looking out for. Obviously, any um, U.S. dollar positive or interest rate positive developments that come out, that's going to um, hold. Uh, gold back from any bounce back. Moving on to the euro dollar, uh, drifting lower on the back of that US dollar strength again uh, and you can see there that 107.86 is the longer term potential support uh, and should the Greece uh, thing get itself sorted out you might see a modest bounce but I think it's more so about dollar strength right now rather than euro weakness uh, which would be actually quite steadfast throughout this whole Greek debacle. So GBP USD uh, sterling looking decent. We broke above that um, potential downwards trend line uh, on 
Monday. Uh, we failed to break above 21 period SMA, but it looks like we might have a potential rebound or bounce back of one spot 56. We did it yesterday, we might do it again today. Longer term potential um, resistance, one spot 57.43. Uh, but should we break below one spot 56, one spot 54, 24 is next level. But we do have a bullish crossover on the MACD happening right now. Um, so the technical signals are probably more supportive rather than dampening. So uh, in regards to the Greek deal, uh, we've seen some decent gains in the Germany 30, uh, which is outperforming its other European um, peers. Uh, and uh, as I said, the euro is down ever so slightly. Uh, against the sterling and against the US dollar, uh, but it's nothing to get too concerned about. Um, but in general, it looks to be a little bit of stability in the markets for now. Um, but we'll see what happens next with Greece. So, economic data wise, you've got uh, CPI uh, coming out of uh, the Eurozone at 10 a.m. UK time. You've got interest, you've got uh, interest rate announcements from the ECB that will remain the same. Uh, employment claims, weekly employment claims from the US, and you've got the Philly Fed business activity data coming out at 3 uh, p.m. UK time. Uh, fast forward on to Friday, you've got um, US CPI that will be closely monitored for dollar bills out there. And uh, then you've got the University of Michigan Sentiment Index. And then that brings us pretty much to uh, the end of the week. So as ever, keep your eye on the chart forum, make insights quite late going forward and join me again tomorrow to find out what